Lesson 2 starts on page 6 and it's about missing add-ins. Remember you started learning about missing add-ins at the end of lesson 1 and that's where you have a letter instead of a number in an addition problem. Now what you're going to learn in this lesson if you look at that practice problem A now you'll have more than two numbers that you're adding together and so like you have 3 plus n plus 7 equals 19 and remember you think of that letter there you just think of what instead of the letter you say 3 plus what plus 7 equals 19 so what you want to do on these problems is add the two numbers that are there add those together first because remember it doesn't matter what order you add numbers in right you can say 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 if you're adding a 3 and a 2 together it doesn't matter which one goes first so what we could do then is we could rearrange that problem and we could say 3 plus 7 plus n equals 19 and see now we have the two numbers together and so we can add that pair together 3 plus 7 is 10 plus what we think to ourselves equals 19 well 10 plus 9 would equal 19 right so that tells us that n equals 9 and so that's our answer look at practice problem B 4 plus 3 plus what equals 10 we think to ourselves what instead of the letter n there and so this time the 4 and the 3 are together so we can just go ahead and add those two together and we can say 7 because 4 plus 3 is 7 plus what equals 10 well 7 plus 3 would equal 10 right and so n equals 3 let's do one more now this one's a little bit longer there's a lot more numbers to add together but let's just do it the same way as the other ones let's put all the numbers together let's rearrange the problem first and so I'm just going to put the n on the left and say n plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 1 equals 18 and now I'll go ahead and add pairs of numbers together so I'd say n plus 5 because 2 plus 3 is 5 and then add 7 plus 1 together and that would be 8 equals 18 and now let's add 5 and 8 together and so I'll have n plus 13 equals 18 and so we think to ourselves what plus 13 would equal 18 well 5 plus 13 would equal 18 and so n equals 5 now let's just think about just how we set these problems up and how we solve them just like God is very organized and he has a purpose for everything that he does we should have a purpose and be very organized in the things that we do and when we write these problems notice how I work them vertically I write them down vertically and I kinda keep organized here like I have the three above the three there and then I just keep working and I broke or I added that three and seven up and I put the ten directly beneath that and that just helps me keep organized and keep my numbers arranged and see I have the ends right above each other there and then I put the answer in a box and that helps me clearly see where my answer is and I also try to write neatly you should do the same thing when you do your problems and use my problems use the way that I solve them and set them up and write them down use that as an example for you as to how you should do your problems and do your homework do your tests do all of your math so just like God is organized and has a purpose and a pattern for everything he does you should be very organized and have a purpose and a pattern for everything that you do too and try to be neat and organized when you do your work okay well that's all for lesson two